Hmm. What do we have here? Hmm. Oh, spiders. It's always spiders. All right. Let me get back to my bearings. Come on, Meryl. Piece of cake. All right. Let's see. These caverns look suspiciously like Lady Haraman's estate. You know, the tunnels under underneath uh, the Haraman estate. Except for that growl. Oh. Raw lyrium. Don't mind if I do. Oh no, this isn't lo this. Oh, never mind. This is not Lady Haramon's estate. It's the design palette is similar, but it's not quite. Buddha. Oh, that's another one of those evil to. Oh, and it's a dragon. We can take care of one dragon. That's. God. We'll just lather. Lather it up with some debuffs. Liberally. Get him, Isabella. There you go. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Not so fast. Whoop. Gotcha. Good job, Izzy. Alright. So it's another it's another one of those evil tomes. Um I think I'm gonna get the piles of treasure first before I touch that tome. Don't even don't really know what don't really trust that tome when it's on top of that altar looking thing that it kinda reminds me of Buddha, but it's not Buddha. It's definitely not Buddha. Kit. All right, all right, eh? not bad, not bad. All right, let's, let's take a look. You found one of Tar Tarone's books. The pages are filled with secrets of blood magic. You feel a string stirring of power as you looked upon it. Take the book. You take the book. And we have to fight demons. Items received. Book of Forbidden Lore. Um, I don't know if we can do anything with that. Tarhon's Book of Blood. Was Dabon hate one mage or a full cabal? I found another reference to Zenebek in his black journal. The blood feeds, the blood nourishes. In blood the call is heard. In blood the deal is made. My master bathed in a river of blood. Then the great Zenebek came. Tarone's beginning. In 4.2, black is the oldest account of the Forbidden Ones, though most mages consider them a hoax. But someone had to make that first deal, that first contact with the other side, from the unknown mage's account. The first of the Magus cast themselves deep in the Fade in search of answers and power, always power. They found the Forbidden Ones, Zenebek, Imshael, Gax can the unbound. Oh, I remember Gax can. Gax can the unbound was that optional, um, relatively challenging boss that you could fight in Origins, I believe. And the formless one. Imshael sort of sounds familiar to me too. I'm not sure if I've run into that one, that person, or that monstrosity. Many conversations were had, and much of the fabric of the world revealed, and thus the magic of blood was born. Okay. Even those who consider this folly dare not utter these names. Tyrone's prophecy. The fell grimoire holds the names of power. It holds the key to their summoning. Zenebek will return. He will feast on the blood of thousands of my enemies. It is inevitable. Really? Huh. I'm wondering if this has anything to do with Dragon Age 3 Inquisition. I wonder. Anyway. 
Revenant. Oh, you Revenants. I'm not as... I'm not as... scared of Revenant as I was before. Ooh, brittle. Um... Whoops. I mean, he's not brittle. He's... Oh, he is brittle. Nice. That's a combo, I believe. I believe. Was that a combo for... I just, I'm curious, because I forgot. Character tactics. Uh... Did I not give Isabella... Uh, oh, not yet. Twin Fangs... No, it wasn't a... It wasn't a cl cross-class combo. Doggone it, I thought I was being smart. Never mind. Plus, Merciless Strike is for Staggered, which I haven't gotten yet. Okay. Come on! Take that. There you go. All right, well that's 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 it. So while I have some time, I wanted to uh, talk about cross-class combos. Um, I am fully aware that they exist, first of all, um, and I, I like the concept. I really like the idea of cross-class combos. Uh, and if you're wondering why I haven't really, why it doesn't look like I'm making liberal use of them. Um, I mean, in a way I am, because, you know, in my tactics, I'll, I've been making it a point, I don't know if you've noticed, but in my tactics, I've been trying to make it so that every time I have an ability that can respond to, you know, to a, to a combo, uh, like if somebody's, uh, if somebody's staggered and I have an ability that does 300% more damage at staggered, you know, I try to set up my tactics accordingly. Um, the only problem is, I, the only problem is, A, many, quite so often, when those abilities, you know, when the class, the class combo opportunity, uh, appears, the character has already used his power, his or her power recently, and thus, it's still on cooldown. So, because of that, you know, we're not able to take full advantage of it, or, or, um, you know, even if I were to know... What's your stat? Thank you, Izzy. Even if I were to know that, uh, such an opportunity arose, and I switched over to that character to try to, try to manually activate the power, the same thing most of the time would happen. They already driver. use their powers to, for a cooldown. So then the question becomes, why don't I just, um deactivate those specific powers. Oh, the poor Mabari. I really don't like killing Mabari hounds. The quest, so then the question becomes, why can't I just um, deactivate those powers such that they're always available when I need it? And, I mean, the reason is because the op whenever those opportunities arise currently, is so few, so far few in between, because um, there's still a lot of powers that I haven't leveled up yet that allow me to stagger things or to make things brittle. Because um, most of those, most of those status ailments occur when you actually upgrade or level up a power, and I don't have all of them yet, so it doesn't happen as often. And because it doesn't happen as often. Um, the powers that I would deactivate to make full use of cross-class combos would oftentimes never be used. Um, and I find that to be a waste. So, I mean, what I could do is micromanage more, and whenever, you know, combat occurs, just make it a point to hit that pause button, you know, where am I going? I'm not... I don't know if I'm going the right way. Hit that pause button, you know, almost all throughout the entire combat, just for the sake of, you know, making use of the powers that I want to use more often. But I hate doing that in a Let's Play specifically, because I don't mind, I, I actually don't mind micromanaging uh, that much at all. 
but for a let's play, um, I don't want combat to take forever, and so I don't micromanage specifically, because I feel like if somebody's watching me, that may get boring. For some of you, it may not, but um, it, it would be for me. If, if, if I would find it boring, then I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do it to you guys. Um, so what I, so what I'm going to do is once I have leveled up my powers such that the status ailments do occur fairly often, then I'm going to try to deactivate uh, the powers that respond to those respected status ailments and try to make more use of cross-class combos. At least that's my plan. Okay. Let's add a slow. That way we can keep them bunched up. Ooh. And Meryl can unleash. Perfect. Take this. Don't do that for some bastion. Good work. Did you see that shot? What were we doing again? Oh yeah, we were helping Donakin. That's right, we were helping Donakin and um Aveline. I'm keeping an eye on you. Labor mage. Oh, there you are. Freeze. Reach. Oh, he didn't freeze. Reach for the sky. Ooh, brittle. Somebody's riddle. Take this. No, take this. Alright, fine. I'm sorry. Get out of there. So I can properly properly take you down. Good stuff. Slavers. I thought I got rid of most of you guys. Slaver whip, stamina trot. Okay. Frayed rope. And we'll signal the fire. Well, guardsman. Good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. Hmm. What are you doing here? Aveline. <clears throat> Hawk, don't. We don't have all night, you know. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? <laughs> Captain? Uh... I should get back to the barracks. Oh, come on, Donic. I thought we were friends. We are. Friends sometimes push. I'm shoving. I... I have to fix this. You'll file a complaint. Ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Excuse me? Double time, Hawk. Or so help me. Aveline, I love you, dear. But excuse me, why I put him on the spot? You're the one who came to me. You are the one. If you had done... Okay, look, Aveline. If you were the one who had done this on your own from the beginning, we would not be in this mess right now. You... Sorry, darling. You did this to yourself. By asking Hawk? Seriously? Um... I, I still love you, though, Freckles. I really do. Um... But no. You're being ridiculous. Redonkulo. Redonkulo. I'm just doing what you wanted me to do, alright? Sometimes that does require some shoving and pushing. Speaking of shoving and pushing... Get over there! Oh. Trying to move you closer towards the center. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Okay. We don't want to go. We don't want to go in that direction yet because Aveline says we need to go straight to the barracks. So we're gonna go straight to the barracks. We'll come back here later, though. There. Might 
as well get rid of these shades, these abominations. Um, no, I don't want. I don't want to use blood magic. I want to use my entropic cloud. <laughs> Meryl, however, is probably going to make liberal use of her abilities. Whoops, wrong one. The Kanari patrol was killed. Report this to the Kanari in the lock in the low down the low down low town docks before nightfall. Okay. I don't think any of these guys have any thing we want. We'll explore that southern part of the wounded coast later. But we're gonna finish up things here in the upper half of the wounded coast. Before we go back to the barracks and try to help Aveline patch things up, even though it was kind of her fault in the first place. If she had just made her move. Oh, so frustrating. If you had just made your move, Aveline, we wouldn't have had to shove you off the cliff. Happy now? Raider Assassin. Oh. No, 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 no. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Two of you. There you go. Beautiful. Once again, I have to go clean up my friends' mess. Granted, sometimes I'd cause the mess, but this time, this time, it wasn't really my fault. Get over here, Raider Archer. Boom. There we go. Does anybody else want to throw themselves at Hawk? Because I would like to think by now, people who have been listening to all the rumors, they know that that's not a very smart thing to do. There we go. Barrel. Especially with him being a blood mage. Not that anyone in this entire city could notice. No one notices that I'm a blood mage at all. Even Cullen, I find it hilarious. I'm here. I am casting blood magic right in front of the boy, and he doesn't even flinch. Love that. Fortunately, they say that in Inquisition, becoming a blood mage or being a blood mage is going to matter more, and people are going to actually react to you for a change, which I think is something that should have happened a long time ago, but. What can you do? At least Bioware is trying to fix the problem. Have I already gone this way? I'm getting so tr Oh, I don't think can I have. Can you smell that? The wind. I'd started to forget what fresh air was. This is where the Talvashoth camp was. And now... Alright, well, there's something over there. Harlot's blush flower. I think that's one of the, yeah, herbalist tasks. Perfect. And there's a cave here that we can't with an in, with a impenetrable barrier. What witch? What sort of witchcraft is this? Make us to Varenhall. Oh wait, there's something over here too. What did you do here, sir? Why is there a corpse right behind you? Book of suggestive caricature. Okay, something else I can sell, I guess. You are in a strange place, Ferelden. Tell me about it. Yeah. Knowing is half the battle, and it need not be wholly unprofitable, provided few questions are asked. I'm not going to ask any questions. Ooh. Ah. Blood magic. Each point of health provides 0.25 additional mana. Ooh. Oh gosh, I need to save up for this. I don't have nearly as much cash for that. Wow. Wow! I can sell all my junk, though. 
Uh, and the rest I'll sell off camera. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Nothing else is here. Back to the barracks. Let's see. Sometimes, Aveline, you have to take a risk. You got sometimes you have to gamble. That's the way that's the way, you know, love works sometimes. In fact, quite often that's how love works. You have to take a chance. You have to take a risk. You have to put yourself out there. Um Let's go back to Viscount's Keep. And I mean, Aveline's just not the type of person who is a very risk-taking person, but she has to learn... If she's ever going to want to find love, she's gonna Good have luck to... Good getting in. I've been waiting all day. You've been waiting for two or three years, sir. I think it's time for you to give up. Maybe you should move to another place whose Viscount would not take that long to let you, let you in. Clear off now, alright? Brennan! Brennan! Why do you have to be like that, girl? Where's Donic? Is Donic not here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, there's. Hi, Freckles. Alright, you and I, we need to talk. Maker! Where is Donic? I have to head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. What does this have to do with trust? This doesn't have anything to do with trust. Good gosh, girl. Um... You know what? It's time for some tough love. What's done is done. No point in beating yourself up. Yes. It's all a game with no consequence. Easy for anyone with a lick of sense. I didn't say that. It's what I heard. And I won't do this again. <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk, but I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Go on. Go on. Yeah, sorry about that lunch or dinner bar thing, sir. <laughs> Hawk is like, oh my gosh, I have never heard Aveline giggle in my life. Ever. In the three years I've known her, I n Hawk is like, I never thought I would ever hear that sound coming from her mouth. So, Freckles. Aveline. Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. I figured. This was all incredibly stupid. Yeah. And you made it wonderful. You finally mastered the obvious. I'll take your word on the second part. You'll get the chance. I was mute and now I want to sing. Please don't. Mm. I just... There's no way I can ever repay you. Perhaps it's simple. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? Was there a moment when you thought I was beyond help? Uh... Don't ruin the moment. It was hard work getting here. All right, fair enough. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just knock first. Ooh. I like happy endings. And Aveline is very close to friendship. Full 100% friendship, I mean. Um, oh, we can still talk to her. Well, sure, why not? It's a fine suit. The finest. Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. Wow. His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. <laughs> you hear that, sexy shall? Mount it. 
trouble, Hawk? Yeah. You say that like you expect it. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail deep in the problems of this city? Wait a minute. Sure, you do good. But petition a title. Take a job. The guard is always looking. Hold on. What? Why am I not knee deep in all the problems of this city? Aveline, have you. S I, I, how. 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 What? I've been doing nothing but fixing problems around this city. Nothing but that. In fact, sometimes I even fix your problems, Aveline, like just mere minutes ago. <laughs> uh. You complain while helping me. <laughs> That's a bit harsh, given my record. Maybe I'm just sick of being the first stop for complaints about people like you. What? People like me. Brands on about fortune hunters, mercenaries, disreputable professions without purpose. He's a clod, but sometimes... Well, it might be good if the city was a little more stable. Come on now. You really prefer the troublemakers stay home? All right. So maybe I don't want to be completely put out of business. And I don't even really mean you. Well, good. But some people, they go on without regard and then act surprised when someone starts a circle. There are warning signs, you know. It's worth saying. Fair enough. Oh, there we go. Now, Aveline is at 100%. And I forgot what bonus we get. What bonus do we get for her being... No, no, no. Abilities. Aveline's dedication to Hawk verges on overbearing. Damage transfer 10% from Hawk to Aveline. Ooh, that's nice. Damage plus 5%. And on top of that, she gets damage plus 5%. So that helps a lot. Passive ability. Cool. All right. I think this is a pretty good place for us to stop. Do you guys, you guys think so too? I think I need a bath. Do you think I need a bath? I guess. I'm not looking forward to seeing the keeper again. You will. You asked me. What is it with all these people asking me to do things for them, and then they try to talk me out of it? Let's go. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play <laughs> Dragon Age. Okay, Let's Play Dragon Age Two. Sorry, it's been a while since. I posted a video, but I got, I've been distracted, um, with other things, not just, you know, Beyond Two Souls and, uh, the other Telltale game, The Wolf Among Us and all that good stuff, but I'm hoping to pump these out a little bit more regularly from now on. Uh, thanks a, guy, thanks a lot, guys, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.